Hello children, this episode is for you, for all those kids who are going in for examinations. The moment we talk about exams, we all have a lot of stress. There's so much of stress that we go through, there's so much of anxiety that we experience. All right? So now, what we need to look at is, why is that we have a lot of stress? Why is that we are going through a lot of anxiety? If you ask these questions, the first and foremost thing is what if I get less marks or if I fail the examinations, right? The question itself can rip you off, can actually bring in a lot of shivers in the spinal cord, right? So what, what will happen if you get less marks or if you fail in the examinations? You feel sad, you want to cry and the thought itself was creating a lot of fear, right? So, what is the base for this? What will happen if you get less marks or if you fail in the examination? It's a shame for you in front of your friends, in front of your relatives, is it not? And it's a disappointment for parents or rather you are disappointing your parents, correct? And you're, you're disappointing yourself because you had a lot of expectations about yourself that you would do really good in the examinations and you would score great marks. But a thought can shake you up. Now, how to get out of this? So there's always a pressure from our parents saying that, okay, you study, nothing is going to happen. There's a lot of pressure from teachers and friends. Okay, that's okay, that's nothing is going to happen. You just go steady, focus on your studies. Do that, do this. So. Some people asking you to study for 10 to 12 hours, 12 to 16 hours. A lot of suggestions keep coming in. So, so much of stress that gets added up. On top of it, you don't know few subjects or you're poor in few subjects. And dare you not tell this to your parents during February and March because you would be gone case. Your parents are going to blast you up. Correct? These are all the challenges that as students we all face. So, how to get out of this? So here's a quick, small little solution for you, okay? Now, point one, if people are giving you suggestions, your teachers, your friends, your friends, brothers, sisters, they're all giving you suggestions from their own experiences. It's not your experience. So you can just listen to what they're saying and pick up only those things which are appropriate for you. Point one. Number two, have you ever identified that there is a uniqueness within you and this uniqueness would really help you to learn things in a unique way and present in a unique way. We all have that. Innately we all know that. We just need to focus on it and see how uniquely we are trying to learn and present things, present the subjects in the examination. It doesn't take a lot of time. Just focus on it for like 10-15 minutes and you know what it is. And next, education is very, very important in all our lives. But accept the fact that education is not life. It doesn't mean that I am telling you that you know, don't study. No. Please do study, but with an understanding that education is part of life. There is a lot of life other than education. And this education would help you to lead that life very happily. Last but not the least, do not compete with your friends. You compete with your own self. Have you ever played that volleyball, basketball? Yeah? So there is a net. Say if you're studying your sixth class, you're a short guy and you're throwing the ball into the basket, the net is not too very high. It is made available to you. You just have to jump and drop the ball. When you start growing into the seventh, eighth, ninth, and when you're trying to get taller, this net is taken a bit higher so that you don't reach out to that and drop the ball with ease, but with a little difficulty, you will have to jump a little bit to drop the ball, right? So also, 
you have to keep competing with your own self. It is not that you're going to compete with somebody else. There's no competition between you and your friends. It is just a competition with your own self. Remember this very strongly. Now, having said this, let's do a small little exercise to let go of your stress. Okay, sit straight, close your eyes, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. With every inhalation, allow the body to relax. With every exhalation, any stress, any blocks in any part of your body, allow it to go. Inhale, exhale. Now ask yourself, what is the stress all about? Ask yourself, why is that you're feeling stressed out? You may get different answers. Every student may get different answers. What if I get less marks? What if I fail in the examination? What if I don't remember what I studied? What if I write a wrong answer? What if I write a different answer? What if I don't write the question number? So many, many questions or many thoughts may come up. Whatever it is, just allow it to come up. Along with this, you will feel a lot of sadness or fear. Whatever it is, tell yourself, I allow this fear to come up. And just observe this fear coming up all over your body. Don't worry, nothing is going to happen. This fear is going to be there for a minute or two and it will go. Just allow this fear to come up. Breathe in, breathe out. Observe which part of the body this fear is coming up. Is there a tightness or pain in your chest? Or is something happening in your throat? Or something happening in your head? Or the whole body is paining? Or there is a shiver in the whole of the body? Whatever it is, just observe. Do not hold on to this. Just observe. Allow it to come up and go. How are you feeling now? Is this fear going down? Just allow it to go down and also the pain or tightness in your chest or a pain in the head or any part of the body, allow it to go down. Relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Right? Now you can open your eyes. How are you feeling now? Good. So whenever you're feeling stressed out, do this small little two minute exercise and then you'll be able to perform well with your studies, with your exams, because you're just allowing this fear to come up and go. You're just experiencing it. Now, the other thing that you can do is, whenever there is some kind of a stress that's kind of building up, either before studying or during the examination, or before the examination, start counting backwards from 100 to 1. Focus from 100 to 1, start counting down, Automatically, you'll be relaxed. You'll calm down. Remember one thing. You will not remember the answers correctly. You'll not be in a position to present correctly if you're feeling stressed out. So follow these quick tips whenever you're feeling stressed out. The moment you let go of the stress, you'll be able to present yourself very well in the examinations. Okay? Practice this. Do well in your examinations. And all the very best. Thank you for watching this video.